Hey guys, it's Dave from Animal Experiences. Uh, last week we talked about amphibians. Today we're going to talk about my favorite kind of snake, which is a California king snake. Uh, my friend here that's around my neck is a young king snake. His name is Oreo. You kids that see me regularly, you know all my snakes are named after either candy or sweet things. So Oreo is a black and white king snake. He's probably about two years old. He should get bigger than this. Uh, I would guess another, well, probably another eight inches longer. His body will fill out, so he'll be a bit thicker and heavier. But he's just never going to be a giant snake. That's one of the things I like about king snakes. They never get too big for kids to handle. They're generally very friendly if they're raised around people being handled all the time. Uh, you can see, uh, get a look at his face here. So Oreo is a very nice snake. And these guys, probably the thing I like most about them is the fact that they don't get too big and they're very friendly. But there's so many different colors. Uh, I've probably seen over the years about 20 different colors of king snakes. And uh, this might be the most common color, the black and white. Um, called a black and white banded king snake and these guys are called California king snakes because they are found in California they also can be found in Oregon they can be found in Nevada Utah uh, Arizona northwestern Mexico so they've got a pretty big range but it's definitely in the west and uh, they just make great pets They're very easy to take care of this guy here, uh, I got him when he was probably about 10, 12 inches long, probably about as thick as a pencil. So they're pretty small when you first get them, um, but really, really nice snakes. So that's Oreo. Let me show you a very young snake I have named Neko. And Neko is probably about seven months old. He's grown a lot since I got him, but he's got a great deal of growing to do yet. And he's a uh, mostly white king snake. As you can see, much, much smaller. But he's mostly white. He's got a black stripe down his back. Mostly white on the bottom with some speckles. Uh, very nice snake. For a young snake, he's very calm. And that's because I did begin handling him and bringing him to shows when he was probably no more than about 12 inches long. And snakes like this, the more they handle, generally the calmer they become. Uh, these guys seem to like being handled. Uh, very, very mellow snakes as a rule. Now you might wonder what I feed these guys. Uh, all these snakes eat mice as pets. In the wild, they would eat rodents. They might eat reptiles. They will eat other snakes. That's why they're called king snakes. One of the most interesting thing about king snakes is they will kill and eat rattlesnakes. Now they never get big enough to eat an adult rattlesnake, but in their travels, moving around their natural habitat, they come across young, smaller rattlesnakes. They're fully capable of killing them and eating them. These guys are constrictors. Now, when I feed my snakes, they're eating mice that are dead. I buy them frozen. I do that because there's no chance that the snake's gonna be hurt by a frightened mouse. And a snake that eats a dead mouse is gonna be a more friendly pet. So if you have a pet snake, you definitely want to feed it dead animals. Okay, I buy them frozen. Uh, they're readily available in most pet stores that sell reptiles. You can also buy them online, which is how I do it because I'm buying such a big quantity of them. Okay, so that's Neko. I want to show you another white king snake. A little bit different pattern. He's a little bigger. This guy's name is Marshmallow. Marshmallow is about the same age, I'd say, or maybe a little younger than Oreo. Probably a little younger. And, uh, but he's got 
mostly white on his back. He's got a cool black belly. Okay, you got to look at his face here. So, king snakes have a really soft texture to them. Probably softer than any other snakes that I, I've owned. Um, if you've never handled a snake, it's a good first snake to feel because they don't, they don't really feel scaly. Certainly not wet or slimy. Some people do think snakes are slimy. They are not. They're completely dry. Okay. And this guy, again, just another color variation for a California king snake. I want to show you my favorite. I have a lot of pets, but I do have a few favorites. And of all my snakes, the next one, her name is Hershey. She's my favorite king snake. In fact, probably my favorite snake of all my snakes. And Hershey's one of my oldest snakes. She's uh, probably a little beyond the normal lifespan for snakes like this. Uh, Hershey is about 12 years old, maybe even approaching 13 now. Um, a lot of these snakes, 10 to 12 years is a normal lifespan for them. So she's way up there. Um, she is chocolate brown with yellow. And she's normally brighter and shinier than this. Hershey is beginning to get ready to shed her skin. So her color has already begun to get a little bit dull. And over the next few days, she's going to become more dull. And then she'll shed and she'll be bright and shiny and beautiful again. So a really nice snake. Definitely my favorite of my snakes. Super friendly. Loves to hang around people's necks. When I'm doing a show with kids, they love to hold Hershey and she loves to be held. So really good snake. Now she feels a little cool on my neck. Not super cold, but cool. That's because I'm indoors, it's pretty warm in here. The room I just took her out of is the warmest room in the house, so the snakes are pretty warm when they're in there. But a snake is cold-blooded. Typically when you touch it, it's gonna feel at the very least cool to your skin. If it's winter time and a cold day and you handle them, they usually feel real cold. The longer they're up here on your neck or shoulders, the warmer they get. They're absorbing heat from your body and they usually like being up there. So, if you're thinking of getting a pet snake, California king snakes are my number one choice. But the next time I speak to you guys, I'm going to talk about probably my second favorite snake, which is a milk snake. Very interesting snakes. Again, a snake that won't get too big. All right, I hope you guys stay well. Wash your hands. Keep working hard with your home learning. I hope to see you at shows real soon. Take care.